Now, News 13 Sky Warn Weather. Well, the storms have steered clear for the most part of the four corners. The bulk of the activity and really is kind of spotty in nature is off to our east around Raton and back towards Alamosa and into the northern mountains as well. Much of the rest of the area, though, very quiet and sunny this afternoon. And not looking too bad for us. Matter of fact, tonight with those clear skies, we'll drop into the 30s. Partly cloudy, we'll steer clear of the freezing temperatures as well, at least temporarily. 73 degrees for tomorrow. 42 tonight in Farmington with mainly clear skies, and tomorrow we'll end up with highs well on into the low 80s. Not looking like a bad start to the at least uh, the end of the week, and then the weekend. Overnight lows tonight, or temperatures rather right now, 54 degrees, Taos 53 in Las Vegas, 59 in Santa Fe. We've got 60s in Durango, same thing in Farmington, low 70s in Cortez. And wind speeds, for the most part, pretty quiet, anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour. Storm system still wanting to kind of hang out here for a while, but it is showing signs it's slowly starting to lift off towards the northeast. So as it does so, we'll see the bulk of the activity in the form of showers well on into the northeastern plains and into the eastern areas of Colorado. So looks like for the most part we are in the clear. So tonight obviously will be a cool night, maybe a few spotty showers off towards our east, and then this ridge of high pressure begins to take over. As a result, the weekend is going to be absolutely gorgeous with plenty of sunshine, and by Sunday, our highs will be up into the 80s across most of the north, and we'll even sneak in a few 90s down to the south. For next week, that high becomes a little bit more apparent, will work its way overhead, and as a result, it's going to be pretty toasty down towards the south as we continue in the 90s. Of course, we'll see plenty of 80s up here, and then things kind of take a turn again towards the end of next week. Precipitation forecast. Again, spotty showers for our northern mountains. For the Sangre de Cristos of San Juans, could see a few snow flurries as well. And then the bulk of the activity swings off towards the east heading into the weekend, and we end up with plenty of sunshine and warmer temperatures. Another cool night, though, for tonight. 20s in Red River, 30s in Raton. We'll see areas anywhere from the upper 20s to mid 30s from Durango back towards Chama, 42 in Farmington and the Rio Grande Valley, 40s and 50s with 40s out towards Santa Rosa and down south, upper 40s around Roswell, 50s in Carlsbad and 51 in Deming. Currently across the country, it's uh, still quite stormy in the southeast. However, where they've seen heavy showers and flooding around Atlanta, things are quiet there, thank goodness. Much of the west coast under the influence of that high pressure ridge and they're getting those a winds, so the Santa Ana winds into LA. Highs right now, or temperatures rather, in the mid 90s. We'll see upper 90s for tomorrow out there. Upper 80s around El Paso, San Antonio, 81 degrees and 78 in Oklahoma City. For us tonight, we'll drop in the 30s and 40s. Tomorrow's highs in the 70s and 80s. 77 in Grants, Los Alamos, 74 and 77 in Española. And a couple of days, maybe we'll spot a few showers, of course, for tomorrow. The weekend looking a little bit quieter with the lows, or highs rather, in the low 70s to mid 70s by Sunday. In Farmington, you see a stray shower maybe late tonight. It uh, looks like, though, for Friday, 77 degrees and highs in the 80s for the weekend. Partly to mostly sunny skies the beginning of next week.